Right friends, welcome back to SNT Health and Environment. This is the new module we are starting from 11th week. Issues pertaining to science and technology, health related issues, environmental issues like climate change, they will be dealt every week and the module will be of duration around 12 to 15 minutes. And this week we have taken four issues and the first one is the desensitization of the immune system is the revolutionary step for kidney patients. And every year more than 2 lakh cases are being added to the already overburden of renal failure cases or you can say kidney failure cases. And now the patients are waiting long years for getting compatible donors. And even in 20 percent of the cases, antibodies attack the transplanted kidney. And here a new method or you can say desensitization of the immune system is the revolutionary step for kidney patients. We are going to deliberate on this. Before going into the aspect of kidneys, let us look at the immune system. First one is plasma cells. What are plasma cells? Plasma cells or nothing but white blood cells and they are transported by blood plasma and they originate in bone marrow. These plasma cells originate in bone marrow and these are white blood cells and they secrete large quantities of antibodies. Large quantities of antibodies are produced in the body by plasma cells which are nothing but white blood cells. And the other name for this antibodies is immunoglobulin. Please do not forget the other name for antibody is immunoglobulin. So, if you look at antibodies, these are produced by plasma cells and these antibodies are used by body's immune system. These antibodies are used by immune system. What immune system will do? By using these antibodies, immune system defends our body from disease causing microorganisms. So, as to prevent our body from the effects of bacteria and viruses, these antibodies are used by immune system. Antibodies are produced by plasma cells and these antibodies are used by immune system so as to identify and neutralize pathogens like bacteria and viruses. So, basically antibodies protect us from the diseases and immune system use these antibodies to fight against bacteria and viruses. Right? So, this is the fundamental thing no one should forget. And if you look at the kidney failure cases, kidney failure cases when both the kidneys are failed then there are two options. One is regular dialysis that means the toxins in the blood are to be removed regularly at least thrice in a week and this process is dialysis and in the budget recently government announced that dialysis facilities will be created in each district hospital. That is the step in the right direction that is one part of the story and the second one is replacement of kidney. Why people are not able to replace their kidneys when failure is there? The first one is getting compatible donor is difficult first problem. Second problem is in 20 percent of the cases even the compatible kidney is affected by antibodies. We have just now learnt antibodies fight against the pathogens which cause diseases to us. Now, the donor kidney or the new kidney which is incorporated in the body that will also be affected because of these antibodies in 20 percent of the cases. Right? So, what is the solution? Scientists have found a new solution that please alter the immune system. We have just now learnt immune system use antibodies to fight against pathogens and please alter the immune system. So, desensitization that is the way forward that means immune system is to be desensitized. Right? How to alter the immune system? The procedure is first all the antibodies will be filtered out of patient's blood. 
all the antibodies which are produced by plasma cells are filtered out of the blood then other antibodies are infused to give some protection and if required drugs are to be used to destroy any white blood cells that might make antibodies that would attack the new kidney so here the basic process is altering the immune system so as to prevent attacking the kidney by the antibodies so here the process is altering the immune system so as to prevent attack of the kidney by the antibodies so this is altering the immune system which was found by scientists recently and if this comes into use extensively then the problem of incompatible kidneys as well as attack of the kidneys in 20% of the cases though they are compatible will be solved to much larger extent this is about altering the immune system look into the next one national green tribunal has sought reply from the center on plea to seek ban on microplastics in cosmetics and body care products and you may ask what is meant by microplastic microplastics are small plastic particles in the environment with less than 1 mm in size these are small plastic particles and for body care products as well as cosmetics previously people used to use natural products please look into this slide honey and oatmeal facial scrub chocolate sugar face scrub these are natural exfoliating products good old days people used to use them but now in the cosmetic products as well as body care products unfortunately people are using microplastics and microbeds please look into this the microplastics and microbeds both are finer plastic particles but the difference is microbeds are spherical in shape and these two are extensively used in personal care products and in toothpaste if you see this microbeds are used in toothpaste also small particles running into micrometers are used in toothpaste right so now national green tribunal sought reply from the center on the plea to seek ban on microplastics because these microplastics ultimately enter the water streams and they are causing problems to the people living in the downstream stretches of rivers not only human beings but also animals will be affected because of this microplastics and microbeds so there is a case in point to ban these microplastics and microbeds look into the next issue 344 fdc drugs were banned by the health ministry you may ask what is fdc fdc is fixed dose combination how the fixed dose combination is evolved this fixed dose combination is evolved by combining two or more drugs into one pill in one tablet or in one capsule two or more formulations are clubbed now the companies are taking state level approvals and there is no consistency in the policy for the past several years and rules and regulations were diluted in due course of time that's why this situation arose and government states that these are banned due to risk factor involved to humans second is alternative drugs are available and third point is there is not much therapeutic use because of these fdcs right and here several drug companies approached delhi high court and delhi high court granted interim stay but the pertinent questions unanswered questions are there is no transparency how these 344 combinations are banned how these combinations are chosen there is no consistency second important point is if these have no benefits and not good for health with the side effects and the pertinent question is how doctors have been prescribing them for these many years 
third important point is there was a commission popularly known as Dr. C. K. Kokate Committee. Dr. C. K. Kokate Committee gave its report and it indicated out of 6220 FDCs, 963 were irrational. What happened to its report? The next important point is what is the government's policy on FDCs? Why can't we evolve a consistent policy on FTCs? So, these are the unanswered questions. We have to wait and see what will happen in future and whether government will go in for consistent policy on FTCs. JJ Hospital Mumbai achieved a feat of delivering 100 HIV free babies of HIV positive mothers since March 2014. And the biggest problem is babies born to HIV mothers. And without any drug intervention, overall risk is 45% during pregnancy, delivery and breastfeeding. And so far, we are using Nevirapine tablet. This was introduced in 2001-2 and with the use of a Nevirapine tablet, the risk came down to 11% from 45%. Initially, without a drug intervention, 45% of the children used to carry HIV infection. But with the introduction of a nevirapine tablet in 2001-2, overall risk came down to 11%. But mothers developed drug resistance. That is the big problem of a nevirapine tablet. And now, World Health Organization came up with three drug dose combination. And this was agreed upon in India in 2014 and the three drug dose of tenofovir, then lamivudin and efavirinj. And this is being used now and now the infection rate came down to 5%. Because of the use of a three drug combination as told by World Health Organization, now the infection rate came down to 5% and JJ Hospital Mumbai achieved the feat of delivering 100 HIV free babies for HIV positive mothers since March 2014. Now, the HIV virus carried by children came down from 45% to 11% with nevirapine tablet and from 11% to 5% with the three drug combination as suggested by World Health Organization. Right friends, with this let us conclude s Health and Environment. Every week you will have similar module. Have a nice day. Thank you.